Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Kirby and the Amazing Mirror playthrough. I am now Chocolate Kirby, and that is the name. I did look, and it is chocolate for sure. Oh, I wonder what Chocolate Kirby tastes like. I'm not really sure. Part of me doesn't really want to find out either. But this is actually a shortcut to, I guess, World 6. Because this will take us to... Yeah, to take us to Area 1. And then you have this other room, which will take you to Area 6, which I believe was Olive Ocean. Yeah, so... That's all this was, just a warp room. And... I need to go... Actually, back in this direction. There's a few different ways I can go about getting there. I might just uh, take the other warp room, honestly. Let's just uh, do that. Oh god, yellow Kirby's following me. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna go back down here. Perfect, this is exactly where I want to be. Uh, there's really only one more goal in here, and it's this boss room that's down here, so... I just have to make my way down there and I'll be done. So, let's go to the left now. Like I said before, I made some pretty good progress in this world. Considering I picked up a lot of the things pretty much immediately. But I'll uh, stop patting myself on the back because I could essentially do that for hours. Oh, and I gotta fight Batafire again. Uh, You know, I had your power up, but I didn't need to fight you again. Ah. 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 Get away from me, bat of fire. Bat of fire! He kind of reminds me of Patamon from Digimon. And that's pretty much what Patamon is, a giant bowling ball with wings. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I think I think that is, like, whatever Patamons are referenced to in Japanese, I mean, I'm sure Batamon is the same idea. Okay, going the right way. Boom. Ouch. Okay, this is that room I was in earlier, where Red Kirby was messing me up. Why you be messing, bro? Why you be messing? Um, a few different ways I can go through here. Might as well try to go to the left first. And then work my way down. Okay, stone. Uh, stone is definitely what I want. Okay. Oh, there is a power up in here, though. I'll explore this room first. If I don't die, I'm probably gonna die. I don't want to die. Actually, hold on, there's a chest up here. Ah, okay. Hello! Food? No, music. I got the music in me, I got the music in me, I got the music in me. Oh. And this, I believe, takes us back up there to the other room. There's gotta be another way through here. Oh, no, there's totally not. Because I don't think I can, uh... I wish the game would be more clear about which platforms you could fall through. Generally, if there's a platform that looks like you can fall through, you can't. <laughs> That's one of the things I've learned about this game, pretty much. Um, let's see... You're dead. Um, nah, get rid of you. I want those health items. Those health items look really, really good right about now. Oh, this is that room with the blippers that was giving me such a hard time earlier. Well, I'm dead! I hate that. <laughs> I hate those un, like, 
the, those scenarios you just can't avoid for the life of you. It's like, why, why do I even bother? <laughs> I think this leads down to the... No? Okay, it doesn't. I thought that led down to maybe the other room, but I guess not. In other cases, it would've. That's what, that's what really gets me about that. Because that wasn't me just being stupid. That is actually a solution in most other rooms. And I feel like I really should be having stone right about now. Oh, now I gotta go through here. You know, this. This fun adventure that you're watching right about now. Uh. There we go. Oh, pfft. I know where I am. I'm in this stupid room again. You know. Okay. You're dead. I have to fight Bat- No, I don't. Okay, I was like, I don't have to fight Batamon again, do I? <laughs> that would have been annoying. I think I can just... I, I might need to get the rock, or stone, whatever you want to call it. But that's fine. I'll get that now and do this. Hello. I believe those guys are missile guys. And I believe this takes us down here. I can't go up there. Okay, well that's fine. I need to go down there anyway. But there's a few different rooms I can do. Wait, wait, where does this room go? Okay, no, this takes me... This takes me there. So there's more. There's more in here. Okay. I got it. I, 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 for a minute, I didn't think this was this room. But no, that was just me being stupid. Sorry you guys had to witness that. And I think I can just, uh... Yeah, I can just walk into this room, so... Let me get this set up. That leads to, I think, World 8. Yes, World 8, which is called... Radish Ruins. Those are names you can't make up. <laughs> Definitely names you can't make up. But we're not going to go to Radish Ruins, we're going to, you know, take out the boss of this area first. Okay, let's keep my stone, because I'm going to need it for this thing over here. Or not? Am I going to need to, like, switch power-ups, or...? Okay, well, there's a stone in here, too, so that's good. That pretty much takes me in that room, but I'm not ready for that room yet. Okay. Let me grab the one-up. You know, that was actually bad I did that. That was really bad that I did that. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill myself. Reason being, I don't want to have to go all the way around again. I mean, it's not that far of a distance, but... It's just the principle of the thing, and this is technically faster. <laughs> That's such a stupid reason, I realize, but, uh... I realize this completely. Okay... Now I need the stone. Actually, no, I, need, I still need sword. How do I get up there? Oh, right. I was on, I was on the right track.
Oh, oh shoot. There we go. Uh, so many enemies around here. There we go. Okay, but basically I had to kill myself right there because I put myself in a position where I couldn't get back down. Wait. Oh, but that covered that up. Okay, hold on. I, I got an idea. Kirby phone. Hit this. Hit this. Hit this. Red Kirby. You have to hit this. Hit this switch. Hit the switch. Hit the freaking switch. Oh my god. He was so trolling right there. <laughs> he was so trolling. Ah. Uh, stupid freaking troll Kirby. I am not happy. I'm not happy with him. I'm 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 angry. I am literally angry at that Kirby for doing that. That was a dick move. I'm just gonna just not do anything, you know, see how this works. Or, you know, you could do something, help a guy out, help a fellow Kirby out for that matter. Speaking of hammer, look what we have here. Bonkers. Actually, is Hammer my favorite power-up? There are so many good power-ups in this game. Uh. Well, that just took me to the boss, but that's where I needed to go anyway, so no big deal. Um, do I want to use Hammer, or do I want to use a different power-up? I'll use Hammer. So who do we have for the boss of this area? We have a mole! Molly to be precise. Oh, and he killed me. <laughs> well I was kind of taking hits for no reason. Let's use this. This is the throw ability. Throw might be kind of interesting to use here. The thing that makes throw easy to use is because it's pretty much a swallow and spit out ability. So, I mean, there's not much different than just, you know, normal Kirby. And you can also use it to uh, get through uh, um, steel blocks, I believe, too. Oh, damn it. Okay, one more hit should do it. Ha! Take that, Molly, and give me that mirror piece. So yeah, we have another piece of the mirror. And with that, we've actually explored all of World 3, I think. I think we're done with it. Let me uh, verify that. Yep, that looks completed to me, so we're going to move on to World 4 next. The thing about World 4 is World 4 encompasses a pretty big area, pretty much from here to down here where World 2 is. So what we're going to do is I think I'm going to move over to this entrance right here and then go up and then kind of work, I guess, counterclockwise. I think that'll probably be the best way to go, so... Uh, here, right? No, no, no. That, that is one thing, I wish the uh, warp zones would be a bit more clear about where exactly you need to go, because... 
That is in kind of an awkward position, but it's not major, I suppose. Okay, and you can't throw those, those guys still. They're still... They're still things. They're still things. Okay, so how do I get up here? Maybe I'm not even in the room yet. No, no, I'm in the room. Whatever is in the top left is where we're going. I think we just go up here. Yep. This is where we go. Follow the rainbow route. I guess we can take this time to show off Twister or Tornado. Tornado, I, I'm not a big fan of Tornado. I think Tornado's really had only one good use in the Kirby games, and that game was Kirby's Dream Course. This game, it can't even destroy blocks, unless I'm just not using it right. I don't know what the deal with Tornado is, but I'm not a fan of it. Okay... Oh good, there are no treasures on this, uh, on this route. Also, yeah, like, I feel like, this is why I feel like I'm using it wrong, because it wouldn't make any sense, like, why this wouldn't be working. So, I don't know, I might just be using it wrong. I think they give you an explanation of how they use the abilities, so maybe I should look that up next time, see if maybe I'm missing something. But here we have the Kirby Superstar Cannons. I guess they were in Kirby's Adventure first. There I go, getting my Kirby's facts and trivia wrong. Um, this is one of those scenarios where you can either get like one or the other, but you can't get both. Like right here, I think this uh, curves up around. Uh, I don't think I can get it. That's kind of lame. But I can come back later and get it at another date and time. I think I can anyway. Or maybe I can get both. No, maybe I can't. They didn't give me anything that could shoot through walls, though, so that's what kind of confuses me. I'll, I'll come back and get it later. It's no big deal. Okay, well, there we go. Got another warp zone. Actually, I could go backwards. I can backtrack. But yeah, we have another warp zone. This will just take us to the top. But now we need to explore this next part. can just go through here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. I didn't have to even uh, go back all the way. I could have just come back here and done it the normal way. I don't really even need that, though, so why bother? Okay, what do we got past here now? This will just take us back to the uh, mainland. They're still pushing that tornado power on us, though. Which really makes it feel like I'm just missing something with the power. This just goes to World 4, Mustard Mountain. That's one of the entrances, anyway. This is a kind of awkward part right here. I think in order to get to these two rooms on the sides, you need to come from area four and then just go straight across. Like, you can't just, like, go down and then access those rooms. Unless you just need a power and I've, once again, just been missing something, which... Honestly, that could be a possibility. 
Just making sure I'm still on the right track. Ba -ba Boom. I wish there's dogs outside would shut up. <laughs> I clearly put a sign on my door that said I'm recording. I know they don't live here, but... <laughs> When that sign goes up, I mean business. Okay, now I guess you don't need to go this way. I guess you can just access it through this way, too. Which I think does make things probably a bit easier. Yep. Really just another way to get around Mustard Mountain, if you have the power-ups. Okay. But now I need to find a way to get through here. Those guys won't work. Cook Kirby won't work. We'll probably find a way to get through there in this other room. That would be my guess. Hammer, maybe? Hammer could definitely work. UFO could work. Hello, Waddle D. Waddle D. Or actually, can I get around this way? I can. I have just been mistaken about a lot of things, apparently. Bomb won't work. Cupid definitely won't work. Cupid never works. <laughs> I hate saying it, but it's... True. Kissy face. Don't do this to me again. We've been over this. I don't want to kiss you. That would work, but I think I need something that can attack downward, and that won't work as a result. I might go ahead and grab it in anyway, just for good measure. Okay, so we're back in here now. I'm gonna have to go back and get that thing in that room later when I have a better power-up. Uh, this room should actually be kind of familiar, though. We were in this room earlier. This is the room with you. But now we need to go up. There we go. And now we can explore this place properly. an interesting room that I think has a few different ways to get through it. Oh, good. Happy candy. I like happy candy. Happy candy, go! <laughs> now we have two different ways we can go. Let's go right first. I don't know if uh, blocks work against... Oh, God. Boxy. Boxy. Yeah. Boxy's going insane. Boxy's on a warpath. Boxy's dead. <laughs> Boxy really wasn't that threatening. Um... Oh, it turns enemies into the things. I wish I would have known that before. I thought it just gave you a cherry. Which I needed, so I didn't think much of it. Well, either way, it still gave me some health there. And it's not like it's going to matter either way, because I need to end the episode. I just realized that we've been going pretty over time. So, this has been Slim Kirby. This has been Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. I'll see you guys next time when we explore World 4. And... If we're lucky, you might even get through it completely, but I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. So, um, yeah, see you guys next time. Later, folks.